Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, you already know what time it is. I actually have a special guest this video. Here she is. She needs her moment because she's not letting me have mine, but it's all good. So I think I've come to terms with, girl, you're kind of a content creator, you know? You kind of be creating a lot of content, you know what I mean, across different platforms, especially in the world of beauty. So it's about time you start acting like it. I am so happy to finally show you guys my latest investment. Oh my gosh, I got a ring light. This box is huge. It actually came in a way bigger box. Like, it looked like Ivy Park Beyonce just sent me her whole collection. So, lighting is a huge thing, especially when it comes to content creation. Um, it gives you the ability to basically shoot and film anywhere, anytime. Currently, I'm just filming right in front of my window. It's kind of an awkward position because majority of my makeup and like my vanity and stuff is like over here so i kind of be like swerving awkward angles and stuff so i'm really excited to finally have a ring light so i can film anywhere any angle and just be cute honestly done with the long talking i know what you guys came here for and this is to see me set up my new ring light so that's what i'm about to do as i said it did come in a bigger box but this is the box. I got the newer 18 inch ring light and I actually got the LED one because I know the original one is a bulb. I didn't even know I got the LED one. For the price, I paid about, let's round it up, I'd say 130 for everything that I'm about to show you. And it's the LED and it's the biggest, biggest inch. So this is what comes in that smaller brown box. I got I got the ring light with the travel bag and that also adds to the cost too because I know there was the 18 inch without the without the carry bag and I was thinking I'm like do I really need the carry bag but I thought about it and I'm like yeah because when I travel you know LA trips and all that it'd be nice to carry with me and you know film anywhere anytime no matter the lighting so I ended up getting the travel bag as well. Alrighty, so I pulled the ring light out of the bag and this is exactly how it looks. So you can kind of see how big it is like, oh my God, <laughs> this is exciting. But um, yeah, so these are considered white filters, I believe these are filters. They were already um, snapped on to the ring light when it came out. See a little mount again this is the 18 inch like huge um yeah nothing else this bag really nice and spacious it's cushioned as well so for the travel you know look how bumps and this is definitely a carry-on by the way this is not a checked a check bag definitely not i'm glad it's kind of big because you can kind of stuff your other carry-on stuff in here too and then in in this box in the smaller brown box it came with this right here and i believe this is the stand let's check it out yep correct we got ourselves a tripod people and if any of you are curious to know how tall um, my ring light is, um, it is 78 inches, which converted into feet is like 6'7". I'm 5'11", so, you know, I needed something that would meet me halfway, you know, in case I want to bust a little look video, you know, a little twirl. And then in the larger box, that huge, like, Ivy Park box, um, this box came in it as well. When you receive your box, do, do not throw it out. Like, 
literally dump everything out. There's secret little boxes in there that are important and crucial to your whole lighting system. In the smaller box, what do we got in here? We got, we got a plug, very important. We got another plug, clearly, clearly also very important. And this is looking like the adapter, so the power supply, uber important. And we also have orange filters, which is interesting. I feel like this, um, as you can see, remember we have the white filters already on. So that's gonna give that type of like bright lighting. I don't know if you guys have been in front of a ring light and all that, you know, that white bright lighting. I believe that filter helps to exude that light. And then we have some orange filters. And from what I was reading and watching, I guess this would admit warmer light, you know, like little orange films. So I'm excited to see that and try that. We also got this thingy majigger which is very important because um, this is where you're gonna put your phone to film and things. I'm gonna give myself credit. I did read the pieces that my light was coming with and it did say, oh, the smartphone phone um, holder. I believe um, the original ring lights, they come with a different type of, ah, no. It comes with this piece. Make sure that your ring light, if you are usually working off of your phone, uh, make sure it comes with an adaptable piece or you would just have to buy it separately. This little thingy majigger that I was like, where would I put my, where would I put my phone on this? This is actually for, you know, those like Nikons for your actual camera. So because I'm not using one of those, um, I had to get the phone piece. We got a little Bluetooth clicker, oh, which is so convenient because honestly, that timer option on the phone just ain't it. Like I'm not trying to walk up to my phone every five seconds and reset and run back and pose, you know what I'm saying? So I'm happy I got this little clicker thing. There's a button for Android and there's a button for iPhone. And it's cute, click, click. We also have our instructions. It looks pretty simple. So I have just put together the light stand, okay? So it, it was one piece here, you know, extended the legs, tightened it up so it can stand, and then put it to the height that I'd want it at, which I'm gonna adjust when I attach to see how it looks. But um, yeah, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You have all these turny, nooky thingies that will help you through it. Alright, so I just attached the ring light to the light stand. Alright, it's looking like the only thing I have left to do is plug in the power supply and also set up um, where my phone would be going in the ring light. So, yeah. i seen some people um, separate this part here, just screw off the bottom, just because it looks like it is a little easier to um, assemble it like that and as you can see this kind of has like a square um, bottom 
and that's gonna go I don't know if you can see it probably not and I probably shouldn't do this but um oh oh but yeah so you see this spot right here I guess you just slide that that's what I was looking like let's see okay you don't just slide it you have to also screw this piece down you see like it was a tack it came like attached like that and you have to slide it down in order to make it slip through so that's what we're gonna do here nice okay so that is slid through and now I'm just gonna tighten it now we're gonna go in with this piece and just screw it on the top last but not least we have this phone part so I'm assuming the screwy screwy top here will go on the top of this screwy screwy part that we just screwed in This is how it's looking so far. We got the phone attachment here. We got the light stand standing. But this is how the LED looks. Um, I guess little sporadic LED lights all throughout it compared to the bulb, which is just like one, one light bulb. So I'm just going to plug in these power cords now and see how this bad boy lights up. So everything is set up and this one is the dimmable one so you can change and alter if you want it brighter you want it darker um, yeah so let's go ahead and turn it on okay so we heard that little on switch okay starting we're going brighter Wow, this is serious. Woo! This is some serious lighting power. My natural lighting, not bad at all. It's our God given ring light, you know, so not complaining, but I'm really excited to see how this looks with all the lights off. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach my phone. My phone is attached into the center of my ring light. Right now we still have natural light peeking through my window, my shutters are open. So let's see how it looks with natural lighting and the ring light. So I'm gonna turn that on. Ooh, and we're getting brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. And brighter. <laughs> All right, so my blinds are closed and this is the lighting. So we're gonna turn this on. Like darkness where? Darkness who? And this is literally like the first turn. So let's go bright, bright, bright to the brightest. Bam. Bam. One thing I do wanna try is the orange filters. I wanna see how that light looks. So I'm gonna show you how to change the filters because remember, it does come with a warm option. So I wanna try that out. So I'm gonna show you how to change them. Instructions say to start off with this unique piece. So, it's the only one that looks like this one, like this. And it aligns just like that, right in this spot. Kind of like a puzzle piece. So it says to start with that one right there. Oops. Okay, yep, yep. Nice. 
you got to make sure you hear that click. All right, and then we're going to move forward. And it's kind of like a puzzle piece. Like, if you can see, this one kind of goes over the tip of the other piece. And this one goes under another tip. So it's kind of like an overlap layering flex. So keep that in mind. So we got the orange filter on, same deal. We have the shutters open. We're gonna see how this lighting looks. Oh, wow. She is warm. Now with the shutters closed, let's check her out. Wow. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Okay, so that was super easy. I just went to my Bluetooth setting and I seen a device called AB Shutter um, and I just clicked it and it connected. So let's see what to do. Okay, so that definitely worked because it stopped my recording. Ah, funny! And it did it again. But I'm okay, yeah, so Clearly, it is attached, so I'm out here recording, stopping, boom, boom, boom. It's legit, and I just took this in, that it's only attached to Bluetooth, so this remote is not limited to just your ring light. I can now take pictures with my remote, with my phone, because it's attached to my, my phone's Bluetooth. So, honestly, so worth it. Overall, the package that I got, the 18-inch ring light, LED um, setup with carrier case, with phone stand, with Bluetooth. I would definitely recommend it, especially if you've been thinking of investing in a ring light, especially if you create content, a lot of content. It, it's kind of essential at this point, I feel, unless you just have bomb lighting everywhere. Even if you're not using it to film content, I would say a ring light's really nice to do your makeup under. Yeah, um, especially if you're even a makeup artist to travel with, you know, who knows what lighting. I know you all probably can relate to being in a janky spot and the lighting's like, bitch what? The fact that it even comes with this little Bluetooth remote, like, I recommend it just for this. I'm really excited to create content for you guys using this now because this, this just, this just, you know what I mean? Levels, there's levels to this. And I feel like I just leveled, leveled up with this ring light. That's it folks, my newer 18 inch LED ring light review and setup. Let me know down below if you are also a part of the newer family, if you have another ring light brand that you would recommend, a little more affordable or same price, let me know what you think. Also, also, don't leave without, you know, sending your girl a little love. Don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content, especially now that I have a ring light, guys. I don't, I don't even know who am I? Who is she? Much love, guys. Mwah.